guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, and this is going to be a really quick video because <laughs> this advice is something that I wish I would have gotten when I first started feeding raw, and it is that every single dog is unique. Yes, you can ask people in groups or on social media, how many eggs do you give your dog a week, or how much yogurt do you give a 40-pound dog, and that'll give you an area to start at, but you're still going to have to do the homework and figure out what works for your dog. Because I can tell you everything that I'm doing for all four of my dogs, and it turns out that none of that is gonna work for your dog, and you're gonna be back to square one. So instead of depending upon strangers to tell you what to do with your dog, take the information that they share and use that along with the information you gather as you're doing homework and research. And after you start adding something to your dog's diet, so like for instance, maybe you've decided to feed an egg every single day of the week. So seven days a week, you're gonna put an egg in your dog's bowl. And you decide that, hey, is this working? Is this not working? That's something that you're going to have to monitor your dog. How are their stools? Are you doing nutrient testing? Are they getting an overage of anything? Or is there a deficiency in anything else? Um, is this good for your budget? Is it not good for your budget? Those are the questions that you need to ask for yourself and adjust accordingly. When I say that I give my dogs eggs four days a week, it's not because of some huge mathematical equation that that is a perfect number for dogs. It's because that's just what works within my schedule and that's what I can remember to do and that's what works. And after having my dogs nutrient tested a few times, that seems to be working for them. And so that's where I sit. That's not to say that feeding eggs Fewer times a week is bad or more times a week is bad. It's just that four days a week seems to be my sweet spot. So you need to find your sweet spot for your dogs. So again, it's okay to ask people questions, to ask people how much they think that you should give to your dog. That's just you gathering information. But understand that that's not the end of this journey. You need to do the homework yourself. You need to go to Dr. Google, look and see what other people are writing about. If you're lucky enough to have a veterinarian that is experienced in nutrition and raw feeding, you can talk to them or you can hire a meal formulator and talk to them about what you can do for your dog specifically. Just understand that what we're all doing on this journey is learning about raw feeding and then taking that diet and tailoring it to our unique individual dogs. So if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me at Kimberly at KeepTheTailWagging.com or leave comments below. And you can learn more about raw feeding, raising dogs naturally, and my life with dogs at my blog, KeepTheTailWagging.com. Bye, guys.